when the light's blue, that means I'm trying to get to you. And I got you. Welcome to another video. Hey, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. Also, check out your boy's official website, forexwithbane.com. You guys go there. You can check out some of the Forex music that I posted. Also, you'll be able to um, take advantage of my new course that I just launched. So check that out. I give you a beginner's course, a medium course, and I give you access to live recordings that we've done for quite some time that are full of content and things that will help you elevate in your journey with the Forex market. So, yeah, guys, um, that would be it. And uh, enjoy the video. All right. See you inside. Peace. But guys, um, or at least for, for BTP. So two trades in a, in a day, the best two, right? And you have to remember, so can you, what, what's your, what's your, um, what account size? Like, did you go for, what's that, what's that amount that you went for? Cause I want to uh, give you the numbers. K. Okay. So check this out. So your risk, uh, I mean, your um, your uh, drawdown is what four percent, five percent, or what? What is uh, it? You... It's uh, ten percent. Okay, no, so five percent, five percent, five percent. Okay, so that's what five hundred bucks. Is that right? Somewhere five around G's. there. Five, oh, five grand. Oh, a hundred grand. That's what you said. So five grand. So listen to what I'm telling you. You're not trading with a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, I know that's the account that you have. But you're trading with five thousand dollars, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So yeah. So your risk, or oh, when you're thinking about your lot sizes, you instead of you saying this, instead of you saying, "Oh, I'm only gonna risk one percent of ten thousand," say to yourself, "I'm only gonna risk one percent of five thousand." Are you with me? Because nah, I, I got it. So so so. Um, how, how do you feel? You know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, try and put all this together. If you feel like, you know, where I'm going with everything, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we can get the more trades, but just tell me like, do you feel like you've had your, your math down to the point where, you know what I mean? Like you, you think you're going to not blow the account quickly? Yeah. I, I, I know I'm not going to blow it. I mean, I, I really plan on just taking my time with this one. Um, um, but I mean, as of being able to do the calculation and all that type of stuff, that's something that I'm definitely going to have to work on and not, you know, overdo it in a sense of just my standards or whatever, you know, as many lots, et cetera. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, um, everybody has that notion that they're trading a hundred thousand, right? You know what I'm saying? And they just forget like that, that percentage of what you can lose in a day or what you can lose overall right there's an overall drawdown and there's a daily drawdown the overall drawdown is usually higher than the daily drawdown but people they just don't take it into consideration the way they should in my opinion all right it's you know it's just my my the way i feel about it so with that five bands say okay if you lost a thousand dollars, like if you were willing to lose a thousand dollars on any given trade, what does that mean? And what 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 does that really mean? That means you can only lose five trades. Are you with me? Thanks. I feel you. Yeah. So so peep this. If you want to have the ability to lose as many trades as possible without blowing your account. And that is the lot size that you stick with throughout the whole entire process. Because I promise you, if you start upping your lot sizes because you won a few trades and you're thinking that, okay, my, my um, drawdown percentage should be more now because, you know, you, you should have more wiggle room because you made more now. Bro, some of these uh, prop firms, it's a dirty game with how they with what they go off of in terms of your drawdown right so like if you made if you made a a, a hundred dollars right uh in, in one trade but then no one second guys
All right, guys, again, sorry about that. Um, but let's say you made $100 and the next day, right, you're like, okay, now I, I what my drawdown used to be was, you know, $400, right? And you're saying, okay, but I made 100, so it should be $500. Nah, man, sometimes they don't go, it don't work like that. You understand what I'm saying? So all in all, take that, take take your mind until you're only trading with five thousand dollars and ask yourself how many trades would you uh how many trades would you like to lose and still be alive right if you're saying okay i only want to lose you know I, i'm cool with losing up to five trades because i know i'm not going to lose five back to back or whatever right go ahead and, and risk a thousand dollars per trade you'll be at whatever lot size that is magic keys is really good for automatically determining that lot size you can set it by you know a dollar amount percentage what have you but you can do the math yourself right so again um what will give us a thousand dollars um a standard lot right so let's let's just say your stop loss on the trade is 10 pips i mean uh, 100 pips so you know that you can take out a standard lot and if you lose that 100 pips you've lost a thousand dollars but you know that you can only do that four more times and your account is blown or you would have you would have breached the the daily drawdown uh percentage right so instead of you know doing the standard lot where is you know you're risking you know 100 pips or a thousand dollars right take it down to 500 dollars. now you double the amount of trades that you can lose right so you're risking only 500 but now you can lose 10 trades right or you put it to 250 and now you can lose 15, 20, whatever, right? The way that's the way I roll with it. All right. I, I try to make, I try to get in at a lot size that I know I can lose a good amount of trades because I know I'm not going to lose a good amount of trades, right? You know what I'm saying? But if you only put your risk or you only put your lot size uh, uh, to a level that you can only afford to lose two or three trades or a handful of trades, oh, bro, you're going to blow it every single time. Okay, so, um, you know, I hope that helps, you know what I mean? And I, I hope you get your math with that the right way because that's where you're gonna see the success. Two setups, bro, just two, please. Two setups, anytime you see it throughout the day, your, your best days are gonna be the Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, all right? There's just gonna be your best days, hands down. Yes, there will be opportunities Sunday, Monday, and Friday, but your best days are gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, during the London and the New York session, every single time, bro. You'll get your movement, right? Um, and your account will build. And I promise you, it feels good, right? Just like the song, when you start to see that you're you're getting trade after trade, that's a winner, a winner, a winner. Because yes, now the equity that you have will give you a little bit more cushion with your drawdown, right? But it's just different brokers play it a little differently. So it may be good and, and it may not be so good but it'll build your confidence and you won't be stressing out that you're about to blow the account because you know your 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 lot size just wasn't enough to you know have you lose a whole bunch of trades all right name of the game with with these prop firms and stuff like that guys is to uh focus on the amount that you can lose and trade that amount like it's the actual like it's the total amount of the account that you're trading with and, and take out all the modest lot sizes because you know what you're doing and you know you can win, right? But the only thing that prevents you from winning is over leveraging, is getting into trades that don't really have a good setup, right? Because you're trying to rush it. You want you want that 100K, right? You wanna you wanna have that uh under your under your belt, right? So that you can start to really make some moves because you know you think it's gonna be uh, you know, extremely beneficial, which it is with discipline and everything like that. But guess what? Even when you get the live account, bro, you still got the same uh, drawdown stuff. So you're still not really trading with a hundred thousand dollar account. You understand what I'm saying? And and people forget this. Well, to me, I feel like they forget it. And this is what causes them to just lose sight of what it really is. And I'm just be real. I do pro I do challenges just to build my my uh, credibility. You understand me? I I trade my own account way more than I trade any of these prop firm accounts because I can manage my risk at whatever terms I want to. Like I don't have to set a cap of four percent on on my ten thousand dollars, right? You know what I'm saying? 
I could say I want to lose 50 percent of this. You understand what I'm saying? Or I could just change it every single day on the fly if I want to. With a prop firm, you can't do that. Right. You might have you might have made a, a, a bad trade where you lost three percent. Right. But then the next trade, you won five percent or whatever. Right. But the risk is still now at 4% of whatever you made. And you're like, wait, man, what? Like, y'all keep capping me at a percentage. Again, it's to keep you honest and it's to make you a disciplined trader. But it's also handcuffing you because you could have you could have risked a little more and definitely made more and blew. You know, you could have got to that amount that you're trying to get to for a payout or to complete the challenge. So just stay. Keep in mind. You know, it's not a hundred. It's not a hundred K and try to make uh, tr try to take the lot size that it's going to let allow you to lose 10, 15, 20 trades. Right. And uh, obviously just take the best looking setups that you see. All right. Uh, and, and, and I think I think you, you know, you'll you'll come back with some good news for sure. All right.